we got a new aftermarket part, and that's the Jack Tyrant 762 kit for the longbow. And it turns this sniper into a harder hitting rifle. So let's go see if it's any good in zombies. Well, we're off to a great start. The barrel isn't even on our gun. What happened? Well, I guess since we're already taking a look at the gun besides the barrel being completely missing, it does look a little bit weird. I don't have a stock on it. And that's because when I was testing this out in the firing range, the ADS speed was very slow. It's still not the fastest, but I try my best to make a build to make it a little bit faster. And against these tier one zombies, it ain't doing too bad. But we're gonna go ahead and test this against tier two zombies, tier three zombies, a mega abomination, and the storm caller. And just about anything else that gets in our way. But not only does this work with a missing barrel, now that we have this aftermarket part on here, we can actually use tax stance with it. Which honestly is a lot more convenient, especially for me playing on mouse and keyboard. You get a lot more movement speed out of it, and I feel like it, it helps us out with this slow ADS issue that we got. It's just not as accurate. But now let's test it on some tier two zombies. There's an armored one, broke his helmet in one shot. And it looks to be about a three shot kill to the head. Not terrible. Not the worst thing in the world for an unpacked, unupgraded gun. But I was thinking the damage might be a bit higher. And how's this doing against a tier three zombie? Not really doing anything. Okay, all right, I, I get the message. I always like to test these out against all three tiers of zombies without pack a punch or upgrades, just to get a little baseline for the damage. And there really is no line for it right now. But I did bring in some stuff to help us out here, so let me activate my perks. Let's go ahead and get our gun to pack two and throw an epic aether tool on it. Yeah, not so tough now, are you, Hellhound? And would you look at that? Our barrel came back. I just needed a camo to go over it. Oh, and now against these tier two zombies, it's not doing too bad. If I'm hitting them in the head, they're going down immediately. What about a chest shot? Huh? Well, I, I think he, he leaned into that one. He wanted that one in the head. Oh, that was a triple clat. Okay. But since I already went and fumbled our self-revive within the first minute, let's go ahead and try a tier two bounty. See if we can't get one from that. Oh, that was a two shot against a tier three. That was an armored one too. Almost one shot that one. What about a fully armored? Took his helmet off in one shot. That's fine. And now he's dead. So far, this thing looks promising. I could really use a vehicle right about now. I'm getting my steps in today. I've been running around the whole map. All right, where are you at, Mimic? Why don't you come on out here? Let's bring this party outside. So first two shots. Oh, he's actually eating this damage pretty well. I'm hitting him right in the crit too, right in his C spot. And this should do it here. Okay, so now I'm getting I'm getting a little conflicted on this gun. Because it's doing really good against just normal zombies, but that mimic just tanks shots. And since this gun's fire rate's a bit on the slower side, I'm going to try an outlast contract really quick. I want to see how this handle's going against a larger group of zombies at once. So let's fire this bad boy up. P&D will destroy these face crystals. Monitoring while it works. This is no time for a lecture, Dr. Barrera. Here come the corpses. I love how Rabinov is always just on Barrera's ass. He'll say like one sentence and Rabinov's like, this is no time for a lecture. Or sometimes when like the audio gets delayed and there's like a huge pause in between like Barrera saying something and then Rabinov trying to tell him to shut the fuck up. That's always the best. Oh, it took that mangler out pretty quick. And it's kind of handling these zombies. Don't matter if they're in a group, especially when they're all coming at me one by one. I like how the ants go marching. Oh, we got a helpful Harry in here. Oh, he ain't that helpful. Get on up. And we got nothing for that. Just a perk that we already have. But we got to do at least two more contracts. That way we can actually afford Pack-A-Punch 3. So what's our next bounty? Oh, a Mangler. Let's see if this can get through its armor. What's going on, buddy? Quick two shot, three shot. Okay. Armor finally broke. But this doesn't go through armor very well. It might do some like decent damage to it, but there's no penetration. Pause. Like he doesn't actually take any damage to his health bar. But he's sleep now. And still a whole lot of nothing. I'm getting scammed. All right, last bounty. What's it gonna be? Oh, a disciple. The final boss. All right, what's this doing to you? Can we break your mass easily? Uh, no, but he's got fucking extended range on his health sap. Come on, stay still. You know I can't aim. Here's our chance. We broke it. Ah, uh, okay. We stunned him a bit. Damn, the Disciple really just eats these bullets. And this is like the worst way to aim. Like the attack stance is fun and it moves a lot. But I'm putting my whole face right in between, or my whole face, my whole fist right in between my eyes every time I shoot. 
I took him out and we keep getting PhD. They're taunting me. I think it's finally fixed now, but damn, I don't want it that bad. Back a punch three. Here we come. I just noticed I only have one self revive. We didn't get a single other one from any of those contracts. I feel like that's going to end badly. Well, let's hurry up and grab pack three because we are under siege. We got to go. What's this doing against a tier three zombie now? Oh, killed him through armor. Not seeming too bad. And that semen was not intentional. I'm going to go speed run a tier two bounty really quick. So I have enough to buy another self revive because I know me well enough and I'm going to go down again. All right. Now I think we're ready to fight a mega abomination. We just got to find one. There's the man of the hour. What's going on, dude? Laser right off the bat. Can we break his face? He's actually not taking that much damage, but his face broke. That's weird. Maybe this thing isn't that great against bosses. Or maybe I'm not accurate enough. Let me try to get him up closer once he stops trying to eat me. There we go. Um, that's not terrible damage, but it's not great. Another laser. Let's try to take out the middle. Doing decent to him. And we're going down right here. Aether? No, we're not. We survived it. Let's go. Oh, and he's shooting another laser. Oh, we can actually use the ammo stand to block the laser. Never mind. The zombies didn't go to the decoy fast enough. He just disappeared right in front of my eyes. Yeah, this actually is the best weapon in the game. It does an insane amount of damage. Did so much damage that that mega abomination didn't even want to be here anymore. What the fuck was that? It's not like I went out of range. I guess we're going to have to find another one. That was a waste of a self revive. Lame. Yeah, that's fine. Don't need him. He was too weak for us anyways. Let's do a tier three bounty. Oh, and it's another mega bomb. Where's he at? Oh, let's do our speed test. I didn't see if uh, we could outspeed any sprinters. So I know for sure this thing ain't outspeeding hellhounds. Yeah, the hellhounds are catching right up. And the super sprinters are just a little bit behind. Just slightly. Oh, um, we got two abominations over here. I just wanted to get double teamed. They're trying to jump me. Oh, here comes the laser. We gotta get this here and not go down. Okay. Fuck what I said. That mimic had other plans. Sit down. We still got like a little bit of damage on him though. It wasn't all for nothing. Oh, we got his fat ass in a spot where he can't get through. Oh, but all the zombies can get around. Oh, and he's shooting another laser, but we are not prepared for this. There's way too many zombies around. It is not fun trying to fight this guy right next to a stronghold. At least the, the reinforcements have arrived. Oh, and he's shooting a laser at him. Perfect. Distract him. He's got him fully distracted. He is completely aggroed on him. No, he's not. Nope, he's right back on me. He remembered who I was. And we still only got him to half health. This guy is tanky. Here comes another laser. Aether Shroud on it. Damn. This just might not be that great for bosses. Ooh, broke his face with a little corner peek. Now he is getting low on health, so let's not try to lead him out of his bounds. We don't want him to start recovering it, especially now that there's not that many zombies over here. Oh, don't bite me. Come on. We're getting along fine. Oh, here comes the laser. It's either me or him, and I choose him. There we go. Woo. We had a slight assist from that guy, but honestly, I don't think this thing is cut out for taking on mega abominations. Kind of disappointing, but at least it does pretty well against the tier three zombies. I was taking them all out in like either one or two shots, depending on where I hit them. But maybe you can still take on the Stormcaller. Let's go find out. You still alive in here, Stormcaller? You better be. Oh, I actually don't think he is. I'm not seeing him. Am I blind? No, he's actually just not here. Wow. Well, I'm going to go exfil then and then hop into a new game and see if we can find them. Let's see if we can't get lucky on our way out here. Give me a pack three crystal, please. Ooh, that's not what I want. Mimic, go away. What we got in here? Oh, we actually got it. That's perfect. That's actually crazy. Normally, it just gives me like a pack one crystal and a, a green aether tool. Oh, wow. Our barrel's messed up again. All right, Stormcaller. I'm coming. All right, Stormcaller, where you at? We're gonna have a little bit of an extra challenge for this one because we're in the tier three zone. And there are so many zombies already. Uh, let's start this off with a monkey bomb just to get them away from me. And you know what? Maybe using tax stance is what's uh, making us do less damage because I'm not being as accurate as I can be. Okay. Uh, my accuracy is just a me problem, I think. We gotta get this dude's mask broken. Is it already broken? No, there it is. I was getting white hit markers. 
Let's Aether Shroud real quick, just so the zombies ignore me. This thing's actually just kind of cheeks, I think. It really does not do a whole lot of damage. It's super disappointing, actually. And these zombies aren't making it any easier. He's got a whole army. He barely got like a quarter of his health gone. This is going to take a bit. You know what? Let's use this uh, napalm burst we got. Maybe a little ammo mod can help out. Does this do anything different for you? I don't think so. I feel like our gas mask is going to break before we even get this guy down to low health. So I'm going to go repair it because we're in this for the long haul, apparently. All right. I'm recharged and ready to go. Get on that monkey bomb. And let's get back to shooting him. Oh, he's at half health. But it just does so little per shot. We have to be so accurate trying to stop him from healing. Otherwise, we're going to spend the next 20 minutes getting him back to where he was. Come on. Don't you just want to die? Don't you want to just get it over with? You don't want to do this fight either. Oh my god, he's already regained so much health. And he has a giant horde of zombies in here. This is ridiculous. It might take us the entire game to kill him. We're going to have to slaughter them all outside of the storm. This is ridiculous. Look at this. Every single zombie in tier three is right here. All charging at me. Now, this is the real test for this gun. Can I handle him? Oh, the mimic's trying to see that I don't. You're going first. I mean, it's honestly holding its own a bit. These sprinting armored zombies are a bit of a problem. Just takes a few shots to take them out, though. But sometimes the damage seems inconsistent. Like, sometimes it'll break armor in one shot. Other times, it's like it does nothing. But they're almost all dead. And this should about do it. You completely stop fighting the Stormcaller just to take out his undead army. But it had to be done. I'm back, you bastard. Where'd you go? There he is. Dude, there's no way a mega bomb is joining in now. This is fucked up. Yeah, shoot that laser at nothing, you fucking idiot. Okay. You know what? I'm about to just let them have it. Because they are just throwing the book at me. All right, you win this round, Stormcaller. I ain't doing it. I will take a rematch against a mega abomination, though. No despawning this time. What did I just say? I didn't even get done saying it. What the fuck? There's no way it happened twice in the same spot. Okay. Maybe it's the, the spot is bugged for some reason. We'll go somewhere else. I can't believe that shit. This game is really trying to tell me something. Okay, now we got another one. Don't you despawn on me too. We don't need any of that. Direct shots to the mouth. Already broke it. Break it in that jaw. The mega bombs give me some wet throat. All right, I'll stop. Oh, now it seems like we're doing damage. I don't get this gun. It's so inconsistent. Sometimes damage is great. Other times I hit marker hellhounds. It doesn't make any sense. Like now he's already pretty close to dying. I felt like last time I was fighting him, nothing was happening. It had to be tax stance, right? For some reason, does tax stance lower damage? Because I was still getting the hit markers like I was hitting them in the crit spot. And I'm still fighting them from about the same distance as I did with our previous fight. But now he's like two shots away from dying. One shot away from dying. Let's go. Just so weird, man. I don't get it. What'd you drop for me, though? Anything good? Of course not. Right, I got one more idea for what we can try against the Stormcaller. Why don't you stay still, buddy, and take a fucking airplane to the mouth? I don't think that's hitting him. Oh, uh, did it? Nope. Whiffed. But does this gun want to pretend to do damage now? It all of a sudden woke the fuck up against that mega bomb. Maybe it was the, the napalm burst, actually. Uh, nope. Don't look like it want to do shit. Oof. All right. Let's cut our losses and get out of here. But can we get lucky twice and get another good crystal? Come on, help me out here, bunny. Nope. Lame. So my overall review of the gun as we're trying to exfil here, it's uh wildly inconsistent. It's got like those flashes of greatness where sometimes you can see it do like a really good amount of damage. And other times it don't even show up. This is like uh, the Ryan Fitzpatrick of weapons. I know some of you guys aren't gonna get that reference, but 
it's going to be lights out, do a crazy amount of damage when you don't expect it to. And then when you need it to show up, you need it to do a lot. It just won't make your expectations. So kind of a disappointing aftermarket part to start the season off with. But I don't know how they drop the, the chainsaw underbarrel attachment first and then come out with this right after. They would not be able to follow that up, but I'm excited for when that comes out. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.